So those two tunes we will do with hockey. So there's two tunes we get all three of us. And there's a tune that just you and I are going to play. Bamboo, wait, Midnight at the Seven Bamboo. Right. Tell us a little bit about this song. Well, when I first moved downtown about 10 years ago, a Japantown actually, um, the, the climate was a little different. At the first couple of years that we lived here, it was more like Alviso type of climate where three or four nights, a couple of times during the summer, fog would roll in just like, a, you know, like you were at the beach. And it would roll all the way into right around the middle of Japantown. And it was kind of cool because Japantown was like a, little, a small town, you know, a little main street with little shops. And we were just, uh, I think we had dinner at a restaurant or something. We were just walking through the town, just being amazed how cool the fog was and how because we were new to the neighborhood and we thought it was going to happen all the time, but we forgot about climate change. So uh, <laughs> uh, we were just walking down the street and I saw this sign on this old, old tavern. And it, it, had, it was in red and kind of crumbling away. And it said, Seven Bamboo Seven. And I wasn't sure if the name of the club was Seven Bamboo, Bamboo Seven, or seven bamboo seven, so I, I asked. Uh, we went and had a drink, and I asked the uh, bartender. I said, "What's the what's the name of this place? How do you say it?" And he said, seven bamboo." And I said, "Ah, oh, it sounds cryptic." So we went up back outside, and I looked up at the sign again, and I saw the fog was wisping past it, and in that atmosphere, I got this melody in my brain for to kind of. I had pieces of a, a minor melody that I tried to string together over like a swing rhythm for years. So I deconstructed the 24 bars of that tune and put it to this kind of Latin groove. Which is a straight eighth rhythm. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it, I tried to get a little bit of a, some sort of a Asian quality to it. Um, and Latin, Asian, minor. Right. So uh, <laughs> anyway, um, then you added a, a special part, and uh, I think it's it's special because you, you the harmonies that you picked really add to the flavor of the tune. And cool. uh, so anyway, it's a kind of a just an atmospheric attempt, kind of like one of those atmospheric type of tunes. Maybe if we get around to recording it, we can have some echo and reverb and cool spooky stuff in there so we have the uh, the head where you play the, the the lick three times play play your your lick for the first part of it we're on a C harmonica now oh C harmonica okay so it's one two three got it and that's the part you taught me and your part is uh, a whole higher It's a toughie to get out right on pitch. Yes. So we have two different melodies played over those two choruses. And there's a solo. And I remember we, we worked on this together and recorded it. And I remember you saying something about Asian. And I remember some day in class about uh, that intervals of fourths, parallel fourths, were very emblematic of at least a, a certain style of, of Chinese music. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, uh, anyone out there who I'm going to offend with <laughs> my generalization of Chinese music. But... Uh, I experimented with intervals of fourths and came up with this bridge section, I guess we called it, recorded it, showed it to you, and, and, and that's what we're going to hear in the middle section. And I did uh, print that out, and I'll, again, I'll, I'll provide it for you guys. Gary's part. I play it. Yeah. Four blow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let's try it together. One, two, Gary's part. Four 
drauf. Ah, I don't remember that part. That's it. Okay. Um, the four blows, it's, it's hitting the four blows again that are challenging to remember. Right. You play yours and I'll play mine. One, two, three, four. Again. One more time on the four blow. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Two, three, again. And we go from the top. Oh, yeah. Why don't we put our backing music on? All right. We'll go right into that bridge section. Two, three, one. thing now we're leaving out the other 12 bar do we did we throw that one away uh no well let's definitely use that okay let's definitely use that uh the yeah. yeah yeah and i'll provide the notation for the student uh, we'll throw some solos in there too huh okay so are we going to do the the two heads yeah and then in between the solos do the little bridge part yeah okay and you solo is that good yeah. And then we're going to go at the very end, just do the first head da, only. Ba, ba, probably, yeah. Okay. So the first two choruses, we're not going to repeat both the first two choruses at the end, only the first chorus. Let's try it like that. Repeating both of them? Uh, or no, just, just the one. Just the one, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Pretty good.
good. It does. Like it does sound pretty good, man. For the, maybe a gong in the last yeah. one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And maybe some, some uh, Chinese sage could say some, uh, or Japanese, Japanese. Japanese. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Some, we would get somebody to say something in Japanese. <laughs> There's meaning. You should, you should know a <laughs> couple of yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was good. Hey, that was fun. So we got our three tunes, and uh, I think the next process is for us to individually work on our parts, get together as a trio with our, our jam tracks, backing tracks, and uh, practice the tunes together. And then uh, really got to start putting together uh, not only those tunes, but your, your own individual tunes. Because we talked about doing like two or three each of our own, and then also do the ensemble ones. Huh? Yeah, and what about uh, Gary's Bop? Gary's Bop. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to give that a try next time. Yeah, yeah. The witching I've, hour is here, but yeah, I've been trying to uh, rem remember, and I think I got, well, we played it a couple of weeks ago, and I I knew it good enough. All right, and w wait on our next episode. We'll go through Gary's Bop, and that's that's an interesting tune because that one was a lot of work, and it still needs a lot of work. Very interesting tune, which uh, apparently I get credit for. But David actually wrote it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all, uh, we, we ping ideas, like the head we just did in yeah. the second chorus. I didn't change anything, right. and I just added the middle section. And right. It's a collaborative, and that's, that's I have a lot of fun playing with you, so it's, yeah. I think it should be a lot of fun. Who, who can understand a harmonica's brain better than another harmonica player? <laughs> there you go. Hey, thanks. That was a lot right. of fun. Thank you, man. All right, we'll add to this. All right. That was fun.